Hello everyone, I welcome you once again to my series of lecture that is Understanding Pharmaceutical Science with Dr. Hariharan. So, today we are going to discuss about one of the type of bacterial conjugation that is HFR into F minus conjugation. First, let us understand what is meant by a conjugation. So, conjugation is a process in which the genetic transfer happens between two bacterium that is a donor bacterial cell transfer its genetic material to a recipient bacterium with the help of a tube like structure called pillars. So, in this process the genetic transfer happens by a direct contact only. So, this uh, method of transfer that is the conjugation process can happen in different ways. So, based on the type of genetic material it is transferred we can broadly classified into three types. So, one is the F plus into F minus conjugation that I have already discussed in my previous lecture. So, the second one is the HFR into F minus conjugation that we will discuss elaborately today and the third one is the F prime into F minus conjugation. So, the HFR into F minus conjugation, if you see that how it happens the HFR into F minus conjugation. So, in this type of conjugation the donor cell we call as an HFR. So, the HFR cell we call because the fertility factor will generally present in the chromosome one thing and moreover it can occur at a very high frequency the genetic conjugation can happen at a very high frequency. So, we denote as an HFR conjugation and the bacteria which can perform this conjugation we can call as an HFR strain. So, if you see the F plus cell and an HFR cell, the F plus cell also do the conjugation and the HFR cell also do the conjugation, but the rate of conjugation of HFR is very high when compared to the F plus into F minus conjugation. And the second difference if you see that the F plus cell the fertility factor will be present in the cytoplasm as an extra chromosomal DNA in plasmid whereas in the HFR strain the fertility factor will be integrated it will be present within the chromosome. So, this difference that means the difference existing between the F plus and HFR strain has uh, changed a many thing and moreover the fertility factor since it is present in the chromosome, the chromosome itself carries the other genes like the transfer gene that is the tra operon and the pillar synthesizing gene and the type 4 secreting factor that is needed for the transfer of genetic material and the rolling circular replication process of the chromosome also. So, all these things will be present with the uh, HFR cell which can perform the activity. So, if you see the process how the transfer of genetic material happening in an HFR strand. So, if you see the first step since the chromosome carries the HFR that is the fertility factor F factor. So, it will secrete the type 4 secretory system this helps in the biogenesis of this uh, pillars. So, the pillars will extend it slowly then it forms a contact with an F minus strain. So, it establishes a contact then it retracts close to the HFR cell. So, after forming this establishment the chromosomal gene that I have shown in the figure in the HFR cell if see there is a red color part has been denoted the origin of transfer. So, where the transfer can initiated and second it carries two major then that is lac plus and pro plus gene whereas the F minus cell does not contains this gene that is it is a lac minus and pro minus gene. So, in the second step what happen is that this one that is the type 4 secretory 4 system favors the production of the relaxosome. So, the relaxosome enzyme carries and relaxes. So, this relaxes find the origin of transfer and it nicks it, it gets associated with it. Then one of the strain will move towards the pilus and get transfer into the F minus cell. So, meanwhile the complementary strand of this gene will be synthesized by rolling circular mechanism. Now, in the step 3 there are two possibilities can happen. One the contact can be for a short duration otherwise the contact for a long duration. 
if you see in step 3 let the contact will be a for a short duration what happen is the pillars will break away so the contact has been due, due to the external environmental condition it has been broken away so a part of the gene has been transferred to the f minus recipient that means it also gets the single strand it also synthesizes the complementary strand then it carries one of the gene in this case i have denoted as lac plus gene only get transferred not the pro plus one so after this what happens the recombination can happen between this exogenate that is the uh, dna which has came inside and the endogenate that is the chromosomal dna of the f minus strain so this lac plus gene recombines with the lac minus one in the chromosome and the the F minus cell which has an ability to grow in a lactose that is it becomes a lac plus one. So this is happens in the step four. If it is conjugated for a long time like consider the step three dash. So what happens the entire gene will get transferred into the F minus strain both the lac plus and the pro plus. Then after that it synthesizes the complementary strand then gets recombined with the chromosomal gna then the f minus will become as an lac plus and the pro plus gene but however the transferring is needs a time dependent process generally the entire host chromosome is not getting transferred to the recipient cell so if you see in the f plus and the f minus conjugation there is a possibility of the f minus cell can get converted to an f plus cell but in this case it is not happening because the transfer required for the fertility factor along with all genes to be transferred requires more time for example in e coli it needs 100 minutes to get complete transfer so this is not possible naturally what it will break in between because of the environmental condition so the f minus strain even though the genetic transfer happened it remains as an f minus strain only it is not converted to an hfr strain like what is happening in the f plus strain into another f plus strain so this hfr strain which is generally participate in more frequently than the F plus strain. That's why we denote as an HFR strain. And the gene transfer can happen both by a rotating clockwise or rotating counterclockwise. A single strand can transfer and the complementary strand can be synthesized. So the DNA which has been entered into the F minus strain need not to be successfully integrated. Sometimes what happens the restriction endonucleus can destroy this DNA also. So, in other condition, this will be integrated into the F minus genome. So, this is all about the how the HFR and the F minus conjugation happens. So, thank you very much for understanding about this HFR into F minus conjugation. So, in my future lecture, you can see the F prime and the F minus conjugation also. So, thank you very much.